You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that I get from listeners all the time, which is, can I take the FE and PE exams in the same year? And also, should you? The answer depends on several factors, which I will walk through in this video. And when you've passed your FE exam, I also run a YouTube channel that helps engineers pass their PE exam. You can check it out at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash pass the PE exam. This pass the FE exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. The FE exam is given nationwide each year in four testing windows during the following months, January to February, April to May, July to August, and October to November. You can take the FE exam at any time during or after your senior year of college. However, since the FE exam covers material that is fresh in your mind while you are still a student, it is recommended that you take the FE exam during your senior year or shortly thereafter. The PE exam, as of 2022 in most disciplines, is now computer-based and therefore offered year-round. So, to get back to our question of whether you could take the FE and PE exams in the same year, it really depends on the specific state that you plan to take the exams, as well as the state registration times. Most states will not allow you to apply to take the PE until the board approves your FE exam results. Then the application process may take a couple of months, and you may miss a registration deadline for the exam you want to sit for during the same year. Let's look at a few scenarios where you might be able to take the two exams close together and why you may wish to do so or not. In one scenario, again, depending on your state of practice, you may be able to graduate from an ABET accredited school with an engineering degree, then go into industry to obtain the required number of years of experience to achieve licensure, then take the FE exam, soon followed by the PE exam. In this scenario, you would have to ensure that your state doesn't require you to have passed the FE exam prior to obtaining the relevant years of experience. That being said, I do not see this as being a smart approach, and here's why. The FE exam gets harder the further out of school you are because it's such a heavy concept-laden exam, and it's broad covering many topics. You should really take the FE exam your senior year of school or shortly thereafter. Now, in another scenario, again, depending on the state that you live in or you're taking the exam in, you could graduate from an ABET accredited school and have passed your FE exam as a senior, and then within the next 12 months, take and pass your PE exam, and then work the required number of years of experience and secure your PE license. Now, this scenario is only possible in states that have decoupled the PE exam from the work experience, allowing one to pass the exam before gaining the required years of experience. The benefit to this approach is that it allows you to take the exams while many of the concepts that you learn in school are still fresh in your memory, which many people have told me has made it easier for them to pass the exams. Remember that each state has different eligibility requirements, so be sure to check with your state board and make sure you are following their process. Is it possible to take the exams in the same year? I would say yes, with proper planning and research, you would definitely be able to do so if your state board allows you to. Lastly, as a reminder, 
When you've passed your FE exam, I also run a YouTube channel that helps engineers pass their PE exam. You'll find a link to that show in the description of this video. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you, ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will read and respond to you in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam. <music>